Back in 2005, much like a lot of people in the West, I had no idea that there was even a Yakuza franchise and it wasn't until 2019 that I really started to pay attention to the games. A whole 14 years later and I finally played my first Yakuza game but I didn't give it the time of day that I should have and I quickly put the pad down. At the beginning of 2020, I was receiving a ton of messages from a friend about how much fun Yakuza 0 is to play and I remembered that I owned a few of the Yakuza games already. After seeing how much he loved the games, I decided to give them a shot myself and I've never looked back. The Yakuza series features some of the greatest games I've ever played. They're just so full of life. They can be sad, they can be funny, they can be epic and they can be everything in between. If you have never played the Yakuza games, hopefully after this video you'll be encouraged to do so. They're seriously just a good time. They're semi open world with a much more robust fighting system than the other games that exist in their genre. You can actually chain combos together with the right timing and use several fighting styles. The story is so engaging and unique. You think it's going to be a dead serious mafia type game but out of nowhere you'll find yourself just punching a tiger in the face, but we'll get back to the main story in just a little bit. The side stories are memorable and usually pretty hilarious and it's by no means your standard drive me over there to assassinate this person or drive me over there to collect money. You'll find yourself teaching a dominatrix how to be more dominating, catching a panty thief and even fighting Yakuza in nappies. A lot of people love side quests but they can become really repetitive in a lot of different games. That's just not the case with Yakuza. You're going to get the weirdest, most odd, funny and eyebrow raising quests and there's so many of them between each iteration of the franchise. You even get a side quest where you have to beat a wealthy man's high score on Virtual Fighter. You'll never really be able to guess what you're going to get next when you accept a quest in Yakuza, but it's just another reason why Yakuza stands alone as one of the industry's most special games. Yakuza also features some really cool soundtracks. They have a pretty anime feel to them, which fits the game perfectly because the entire game has a very anime feel to it. The games are obviously based on the Yakuza and surrounding gangs in Japan, but it mixes in over the top set piece moments that make it much more of a memorable experience. One of my personal favourites being from Kiwami 2 called Scattered Moment, but there's just so many good songs to choose from. The Yakuza games have so many cool characters that have so many exciting moments whether that be hero or villains. The games mainly follow a character called Kiryu. At first glance Kiryu appears to be your typical tough guy, but he's so much more than that. After Kiryu's parents were killed he was raised in an orphanage of his best friend Nishiki, which was financed by a member of the Yakuza. Kiryu was later introduced to the Dojima family where he rose through the ranks and earned himself the nickname the Dragon of Dojima. It was because he sported a large tattoo on his back and because he defeated Shibusawa who also wanted to go by the same name. Without ruining any of the story I'll just say that there is so much to discover and learn about with Kiryu and the supporting cast. Kiryu's story concludes in Yakuza 6 in one of the most satisfying games I have personally ever played. The first two Yakuza games spawned remakes in the form of Yakuza Kiwami and Yakuza Kiwami 2. They're honestly two of the best remakes I've ever had the chance of playing, but if you want you can experience Yakuza 1 and Yakuza 2 in their original forms on the PS2, PS3 or Nintendo Wii. Yakuza 0 is the first in the timeline despite the year it was released. It is a prequel to the original game based in the 1980s. Next comes Yakuza Kiwami followed by Yakuza Kiwami 2. Then we jump to 2009 where Yakuza 3 takes place. Yakuza 4 follows in 2010, Yakuza 5 in 2012 and lastly Yakuza 6 in 2016. You can pick up the Yakuza Remastered Collection which features Yakuza 3, Yakuza 4 and Yakuza 5. The story is continuous throughout but each game has its own original plot and side quests keeping each experience fresh and rich with content. The Yakuza franchise is so popular that it spawned a whole bunch of spin-offs and games inspired by it. Yakuza Kenzan is set during the Edo period of 1605 and follows the life of legendary swordsman Miyamoto Musashi. Yakuza Black Panther and Yakuza Black Panther 2 is a spin-off that follows Tatsuya, a street thug that gets into trouble with the Tojo clan after accidentally killing one of their captains. Yakuza Dead Souls is based in the Yakuza universe but not considered canon. It's a ton of fun and as you've probably guessed, you're up against zombies. Yakuza Ishin is another spin-off set during Japan's Bakumatsu period which takes place between 1853 and 1867. It follows the adventures of a samurai named Sakamoto Ryoma. Yakuza Online was released for Android, iOS and PC which features Kiryu up against a new protagonist named Ichiban 
Dan Kasuga. It also inspired the creation of Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise, which follows the story of anime icon Kenshiro. Kiryu can be used as a DLC skin to replace Kenshiro and other Yakuza characters make minor cameo appearances. Judgment is a legal thriller set in the Yakuza world and follows private detective Takayuki Yagami as he investigates a serial murder case. It also uses the Yakuza combat system and features a brand new investigation mode. Despite selling over 12 million copies to date, I still feel like Yakuza is one of the unsung heroes of the gaming industry and a series of games and spin-offs that everyone owes themselves to experience. It spawned books, a short film, a feature film, radio dramas and even a web TV series. Yakuza Like a Dragon sets its sights on a new main character, Kasuga. You might remember I mentioned that name earlier from Yakuza Online. He's back in this game as the new lead since Kiryu's story is all wrapped up. Whilst I haven't had the chance to play it yet due to it only being available in Japan, the game has already done very well making it the best selling print game during its first four days on sale in Japan and was awarded the Japan Game Awards Award for excellence in the future division at the Tokyo Game Show 2019. Sega continues to put out some of the best games this industry has ever known and to me Yakuza sits right at the top of that mountain. This video was kept very brief for a very specific reason. It's that I think these games are so good I don't want to ruin them for you. I don't want to give up all the characters, I don't want to give up all the plot points, the story, the side quests. There's just so much going on in Yakuza and it's too good of a franchise for me to sit here and tell you everything about it. Definitely not in this video anyway. For those of you that don't have the time to catch up on Yakuza and you want to play the new Yakuza game coming out, maybe a separate video summarizing Yakuza as a whole is necessary. However, for those of you that are eager to get into the franchise but are still a little bit unsure, I think this video is perfect for you. And I wanted to put it out there because a few times in recent memory have I picked up a series of games and just thought, wow, this is actually something special. This is something that I can sit and talk to my friends about. And I haven't felt that since I was a kid really. I haven't seen a game with so many robust storylines in a long time. And for me now, as I get older, it's harder to keep my attention with video games. I am currently on my second playthrough of Yakuza 0 and I'll be playing through the other games in the lead up to Yakuza Like a Dragon. I challenge anyone to play the Yakuza games and tell me that it wasn't a memorable experience for them. You'll find at least one thing you love doing in these games. And if it's not the main story, it will be the side quest. If it's not the action, it will be the humour. And if it's not the beautiful world they've created, it will be in the combat system. You're always going to find something about the Yakuza games to enjoy. It's my hope that they continue to make more Yakuza games beyond Like a Dragon and they continue to make more spin-offs. And it would be great if Sega financed a new anime for it. Basically what I'm trying to tell you is that Yakuza is simply one of the greatest franchises I have ever had the privilege to play. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't picked up a Yakuza game, hopefully this video encourages you to do so. If you have played the Yakuza games, share your favourite moments with me in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Peace.